Jonathan Blow on the problem with OpenGL. I switched from Vulkan back to OpenGL because Vulkan was so verbose that I just couldn't deal with it. And it took any change took so long that I was losing my mind. But what I really like about OpenGL is two things. One, it's simple. And two, it allows you to program your application for Windows and Linux. So you, you cover two platforms in a simple way. I, you know, all anybody ever wants to ask about is fucking <clears throat> OpenGL. And guys, mm -hmm. OpenGL it's good. is a dead API. There is no reason <laughs> to learn it now. That's good. It's fast. Right, unless you absolutely have to. Yeah. I don't know why so many people want to talk about it. Because I like it. It's not a good API. <laughs> it is not it's fast. a good way... Like Have you if seen you want to learn skills that are valuable into the future, don't learn OpenGL. Hey, right? but... <laughs> that said... Why? If you're an indie programmer and you mm -hmm. just want to put stuff on the screen... Yeah. It's like... Yeah, there's not exactly... good options for you because everybody's being irresponsible jackasses in the graphics space, right? I, I, I see what you mean. I see. I, I guess I see what he means. It's a dead API, meaning it's no longer supported. Isn't it supported on Windows? But even then, like, if you're making a 2D game, like, my honest take is use OpenGL as much as you can. Because it's faster. And by faster, I mean not that it is running faster. No, you will get to your goal faster. Right. If you are an indie game developer, like he said, and you just want to get something on the screen, and it can, it doesn't need to look bad, you right? Let me show you. That's how my, how my game lo my game looks. It has bloom. Uh, yeah, it has bloom, and it's not perfect, but yeah, bloom in the game and looks kind of decent, in my opinion. You know, uh, like aside from this button, I drew this button yesterday. Like ignore that, but yeah. If you want to do a 3D game like that, I think OpenGL is great. Even for a 3D game, simple 3D game, like let's say Lethal Company, maybe? Style, like, you know, not crazy graphics. So the right thing to have is yeah. an API that yeah. is OS and platform agnostic. Yeah, but we don't that have lets that. lets you draw things without caring too much about what the graphics API is or anything like that. We don't have that though. And that's what simp is here. But of course, mm -hmm. you can't use simp if you're not in this programming language because simp is in this programming language, right? So what uh -huh. I'm doing here is trying to do my best to provide that API where you don't care what's on the back end. And <laughs> right now it is simp. OpenGL on the back end, but that's mm -hmm. just because that's the code I had laying around. Because it's faster, right? yeah, to um, write that code. We certainly would prefer and will in the future make backends for it that are other rendering APIs, right? Yeah, but so, that's how you begin. So uh, I think OpenGL still has a place because you get stuff running. You can see, well, can I do it like that? Okay, that works. And then you write it in a better API to make it better and maybe more platform agnostic. Like, let's say you change it over to uh, Vulkan. Yeah. Um, mm hmm Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. That's about all I have to say about that. Like, what you should use is just yeah. some mm. very lightweight, simple, not huge API that lets you draw things that is defined at user level, right? One of the biggest, like, fucking horrible things about OpenGL is you can't okay. debug it because you try to step down into things and they're in some driver somewhere and you don't have permission to look at the code. But you use a render, a render doc for that. Like, I know what he means. I've encountered some weird errors that only show up in render doc and not in the program. That sucks. But render doc has been helpful with this. I've found out every single bug there is till now. So I, I guess with tools, it's possible. I don't know. I don't think it is that bad, to be honest. Now, I didn't do any 3D stuff, but I'm quite experienced with 2D. Right. Um, it's just god-awful. 
You don't want that. You don't want to draw graphics that way. You want to just have code you can use normally. It's regular code, and you can step into it and look at it. Uh, he means he I means this it. type of code right here. If we go into GL renderer right and then you you're like you can't go into gl bind texture you don't know what this is it's just a pointer yeah you can maybe go here but then that's about it anyways i think um i can understand what he means it does make sense however especially as indie game developers which for the most part how many people are watching jonathan blow who are willing or wanting to make their own game or let's say in indie style game right how many do that i would assume quite a few so i can only speak from experience and being alone making an engine in a game in c plus plus let's say any language right vulcan is too much it takes too long to get things going in vulcan you quit before you get to something meaningful so i did i never quit but at some point i realized that changing vulcan over the course of making a game and feeding the needs of the game into the graphics engine just doesn't make sense so OpenGL still has this place. Hey, Coco, my man, good morning. I mean, yeah, you can use Raylib, right? But let's say you don't use a library that is designed by another person, right? Of course, there's Raylib, there's SDL2, there's stuff that you can use, you know, and many, many developers use those to great success. I'm not saying that those are no options. If we are purely talking about graphics APIs, you have DirectX, OpenGL and Vulkan, right? That's what you have. And we don't talk about Mac. very much. In fact, in this, we copy pasted some code and then removed dereferences. So. Yeah, don't learn OpenGL, guys. <laughs> don't. Use Raylib, probably. Don't use SD. Like, SDL is huh? huge. Mm-hmm. I mean, Raylib, we used it in Odin. I have to say it's really good. Yeah, I don't know. SDL that didn't feel very modern to me last time I looked at it, although I haven't looked at it in a while. Maybe it's better. Uh, people say nice things about Raylib. You could use that. Raylib seems to be good, yeah. I don't know. Mm. But, but what is Raylib using in the background? OpenGL. But then why is he suggesting Raylib? Maybe because Raylib has better errors, which I guess I guess makes sense. Yeah, don't le learn OpenGL, learn Raylib, because Raylib is using OpenGL and it has a better interface than OpenGL. That could be. What I'm saying is the programming community as a whole is being stupid jackasses when it comes to this issue of how do you draw stuff to the screen because it's so fundamental, right? <clears throat> what does your program want to do? It either wants to draw stuff to the screen or output things to a console, which is another way of drawing stuff to the screen, all right? We have made it so difficult and so complicated and so error prone to do the basic thing that everybody wants to do. It's insane, okay? And this is why I'm kind of angry about it because it's a waste of everybody's time to even, like, why is everybody coming on here asking about OpenGL? Like, why do they need to care? Why doesn't everybody just know how to draw a rectangle? Like, what the fuck? What is our problem? It's 2023. You gotta be born with the knowledge to draw a rectangle to the screen! Come on! <laughs> Why can't you call one function that just says draw a rectangle? Oh, man. <laughs> awesome. It's so stupid. It is so stupid. Ah. Rectangles are so 2023 this year. We only use octagons. Okay, I mean, um, yeah. He left. Yeah, good goodbye. Hmm. I mean, Difficult to say. I think OpenGL is great. Uh, like coming from Vulcan, this is like heaven to me. So I can I can understand what he's saying, but for me, I can understand that it is annoying to deal with OpenGL errors. Yes, 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 yes. 
I can understand that. But I had much, much, a much harder time in Vulcan. Lol. That was even worse. Holy shit. He's right. Draw a simple rectangle. First load a shader. Like, bro, come on. That's true, yeah. You have to learn how to... If you want to draw a rectangle, you need to know how to make a shader, yes. But it's a program on the GPU. So, like... I don't know. The GPU is executing a program. Like, how else do you want to do it? 